is not just any slaughter, but it's a slaughter. Since it's commanded by Allah Azzawajal, that means that there are rules and there are regulations that surround this slaughter. A person cannot just go to his backyard and say, oh, here's an animal, I'm going to slaughter it. But rather there are rules and there are regulations that are connected to this slaughter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, لِيَشْهَدُوا مَنَافِي عَلَهُمْ وَيَذْكُرُوا اسْمُ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَامِ الْمَعْلُمَاتِ عَلَى مَا وَزَقَهُمْ مِنْ بَهِيمَةِ الْأَنْعَانِ Allah ta'ala, he says that they may witness benefits to themselves and that they may remember Allah during known days for what he has uh, provided for them from the sacrificial animals, the behemoth to an'am. So this shows us that the, the sacrifice that is made has to be from the behemoth to an'am, which these animals, the sacrificial animals, they are the, uh, the camel, the cow, the sheep, the ghanim, the, the sheep or the lamb and the goats. So these are the animals that is permissible for us to slaughter. And the slaughter should take place on the day of the Eid, but it should take place after the Salah. It should take place after the Salah, as it came in the Sahih of Al-Imam al-Bukhari, and the authority of Al-Barad al-Azib, radiallahu ta'ala, who said that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, مَنْ ذَبْحَ قَبْلَ الصَّلَاةِ فَقَدْ ذَبْحَ لِنَفْسِهِ وَشَاتُهُ شَاتُ لَحْنَ وَمَنْ ذَبْحَ بَعْدِ الصَّلَاةِ فَقَدْ تَمَّ نُسُكُهُ وَأَصَابَ سُنَّةَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever has slaughtered before the Salah, then his Salah is for himself, and his, his animal is an animal for meat. Meaning, it's not a sacrifice for Allah, it's permissible for him to eat from it, but it's not a sacrifice as an act of worship for Allah Azza that is performed on that day. He said, whoever slaughtered before the Salah, and his slaughter is for himself, and his, meat, his animal is an animal for meat. However, whoever slaughtered after the salah, then he has completed his ritual, and he has, uh, he has performed the sunnah of the muslimi. And so this shows us that the slaughter should take place after the salah uh, of the Muslims on the day of the Eid. Another point of benefit that we take from this hadith is... Uh, on that day, in another narration, uh, the man came to the Prophet وسلم, and said, O Messenger of Allah, I slaughtered before the Salah. And the, man, the Prophet said, وسلم, shatu shatu your, 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 your animal is an animal for meat. And this shows us that uh, while a person having good intentions is important, it's not sufficient for a person to have good intentions in order for that person to actually have completed the act of worship. Because the Prophet وسلم, here in this hadith, he shows us that those who did the slaughter, they slaughtered. But simply because the slaughter took place before the salah, that it's not the act of worship. And those who did the slaughter after the salah, then that is the act of worship. And so how long is the salah? The salah could be a matter of you know 10 minutes, 15 minutes, salat al so the difference between a, a, a slaughter that is an actual act of worship and the slaughter that is a slaughter just simply for me could be the difference of 10 minutes. And the difference is that the Prophet وسلم, he ordered us to do this and he ordered us to do that. And so it's important for us to that we are performing our acts of worship that while we are having good intentions and doing it for Allah, that we have to make sure that we're paying attention to how we are performing that worship to make sure that that worship is done in accordance to the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. An animal now, I just heard, is $500, is that, is that right? Is how much uh, is this is going for, like $500. Who wants to pay $500 for an animal, for an act of worship, just for it to be shatulah? <laughs> For it to be just an animal for me. No, we want to spend, we're spending our money for it to be an act of worship. So then let's make sure that the worship is done in accordance to the Sunnah of the Prophet. Now there are other acts, or there are other conditions that will delay the discussion of that for a different time. The next today, later on today, or maybe tomorrow. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides.
praise us. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us our good deeds and our righteous actions may He overlook our faults and forgive us of our sins. Amen.